Hey there, today I want to talk about the genius element of the avoid authenticate drive. When I first developed the ID, I, I knew that every instinct had its strengths and its vulnerabilities. But as I began working with people more and more, I found that there were certain strengths or talents that to me fitted more into what I'd call the genius category. The sorts of things where you go, how does that person do that? That's just incredible. And when I talk about being in awe of other people, I found myself often in awe of that particular element of their makeup, you know, this thing I would call a genius. And I found that there's essentially two parts. There's what I call a white belt level of genius and a black belt level of genius. The white belt level is that genius factor where you can even think about yourself, but it can't be that big a deal. I mean, I don't even try to do that. This is something that's common sense. It's obvious. It's logical. Anybody could do this. Yes, it might seem like that to you because it's it's like a river that's running through you. So it just feels so natural to you. But unless you have that particular instinct, it's not going to be as easy or as natural or as consistent for somebody else who's got a very different ID. So as an example, when I talk about the avoid authenticate drive, what I'm referring to there is what I would call your ability to read the vibe or your intuition. You know, when you can just read the vibrations, pick up what's not being said, what's not being done. You're just reading maybe the body language or the energy of a situation. And you think, but it was pretty obvious that was that person was upset, even though they said they liked it or they said everything was OK. You read a very different vibe. That type of um, interpretation is something that is very natural and, and occurs consistently for someone who's got the avoid authenticate drive. And other people can look at you and yes, occasionally they might get some sort of read like that, but you not only get the read consistently, so often you actually know what the other person's thinking and you know what they're feeling. And you may not be able to use the exact words, but the essence of what they're thinking and feeling is what you can interpret from just from somewhere, from the vibe. That's the point, you read the vibe. The black belt level of genius is where people look at you and just think there's no way it's like a psychic ability. How on earth could you have done that or read that or, you know, contributed that? It's, it's just like an exceptional human ability. And unless you have that particular instinct, it won't shine through you. And it's true for all eight directions of the four instinctive drives. But in the avoid authenticate case, I would say that what I've noticed over the years is that the thing that is at that really incredible, almost psychic level is your ability to create safe space. You know, people will come up and just say, you know, I can't believe I'm telling you this. I haven't told anyone else this, or I feel like you know me better than, than anybody else because there's something about your energy and about the way you tick because it's your natural instinct that creates this safe space for other people to be more honest, more vulnerable, more real, and share their truest heart, their truest feelings, their truest dreams, their truest concerns at the deepest level. And it's not necessarily because you're motivating or inspiring or, you know, um, anything other than you just have a way about you that creates a safe space that not only allows, but it actually encourages people to go deep and share that deeper, true sense of self, whether that's individually or whether it's in groups. Um, that's something you do naturally, you do it consistently and you actually do it brilliantly. And other people around you would be looking at you in awe, wondering, well, how do you do that? And they can even pull it apart and try and want to replicate what you do. But unless you have that instinct, you'll never do it as well as someone who has it come naturally. I share that with you, first of all, so you know that it is something that's truly profound and something unique to your ID. But secondly, and above all, so that you use it, so that you understand it, so that you have a confidence about yourself in terms of being able to contribute that to other situations, to other people, and frankly, to the world, because that's how you make the greatest difference, using this genius within you. And then when you look through the lens of ID at others, this is how you can be in awe of other people as well.